how to make this adaptive panel with dynamic attractor point in Revit, without using the dynamo, no complicated script and formula needed, in just simple steps. Without wasting too much of your time, let's start. Open the Revit. Open a new family. And select the metric generic model adaptive. Open. Select point element. Pick 5 reference points as shown. Select this 4 reference points. Make it adaptive. Select this reference point. Make it adaptive. Move this reference point. Select this 2 reference points. Select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Dimensions. Then select set work plane. Set this plane. Pick this reference plane. Then pick reference point. Select the dimension. Then select new parameter. Make it instance. And check reporting parameter. Name it. Attractor distance. OK. Select this two reference points. Select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Select this two reference points. Select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Select point element. Pick at midpoint. Next. Select this two reference points. Select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Select point element. Pick at midpoint. Select the circle. Then select set work plane. Set this plane. Pick reference point. Draw a circle. Then select the circle. Go to graphics. And associate family parameters. Select new parameter. Name it. Circle on off. OK. OK. Dimensions. Select diameter dimension. Select the circle. Select the dimension. Then select new parameter. Make it instance. Name it. Diameter. OK. Next. Go to family types. Select new parameter. Make it instance. Name it. Attractor divisor. Type of parameter select integer. Let's group it under dimensions. OK. Change the attractor divisor value to 10. And let's link the diameter parameter to the attractor by adding the formula. Attractor distance over attractor divisor. Apply. OK. Uncheck shared. Check always vertical. Save the family. Name it. Adaptive Circle Profile Save the family Next Open a new family And select Metric Generic Model Pattern Based Open Select Point Element Then select Set Work Plane Set this plane Then pick Reference Point Set Work Plane Set this plane then pick reference point. Select this two reference points. Go to filter. Check none. And check reference point. OK. Go to offset. Change the value to 500 millimeters. And select associate family parameter. Select new parameter. Select instance. Name it. Offset. OK. OK. Select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Select point element. Pick at this reference line. Select this reference point. Change the normalized curve parameter to point 1. And select associate family parameter. Then select new parameter. Name it. NCP. Make it instance. OK. OK. Select this four reference lines. Then select Create Form. Select the surface. Then select the Divide Surface. Pick this small arrow. 
Check the nodes. OK. Go back to Adaptive Circle Profile. Load into Project and Close. Go to Families. Pick and drag the Adaptive Circle Profile. Select Place on Face. Start Point Pick Here. Pick Here. Pick Here. Pick Here. End Point Pick Here. Select the Adaptive Circle Profile. Attractor Divisor. Associate Family Parameter. Then select New Parameter. Select Instance. Name it. Attractor Divisor. OK. OK. Then select the Repeat. Perfect. Go to Family Types. Change the Attractor Divisor value to 15. And change the NCP value to 0.5. Apply. OK. Perfect. Select Point Element. Pick at the Quadrant. Put two reference points to all circles. Now let's test the parameters. Change the attractor divisor value to 12. Apply. OK. Perfect. Go to View Cube. Select the top. Select this reference points. Select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Repeat the process. Select this two reference points. Select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Select this two reference points. Select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Repeat the process. Finish adding reference lines to all the circles. Next, go to 3D. Select this four reference lines. Press tab to cycle the selection. Then select create form. Select the solid. Go to properties. Change the positive offset value to 100 millimeters. And select associate family parameter. Select instance. Name it. Thickness. OK. 
OK. Materials and Finishes. Associate Family Parameter. Select New Parameter. Name it. Panel Finish. Select Instance. OK. OK. Repeat the process. Next, let's test the parameters. Change the thickness to 50 millimeters. Apply. Change the attractor divisor value to 15. Apply. Perfect. Change the NCP value to 0.1. Apply. Perfect. Change the NCP value to 0.3. Apply. Perfect. Change the NCP value to 0.5. Apply. Perfect. Change the NCP value to 0.7. Apply. Perfect. Change the NCP value to 0.9. Apply. Perfect. Select the grid. Press tab to cycle the selection. Pick this small arrow. Uncheck the nodes. OK. Now we've created an adaptive dynamic panel with a tractor in Revit. That's it for now. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.